review of your new coat tonight and as we move into winter I thought it was time to get something which was truly uh, warm and the model that I was looking at or the type of jacket I was looking at was the historical uh, US Navy N1 style deck jacket and this model I've picked up from Buzz Rickson's um, if you haven't come across Buzz Rickson's before we featured it before on the channel, so please check it out. There's the, uh, the Combat Tropical uh, jacket here. Um, but Buzz Rickson's are a Japanese brand who really specialise in reproduction, um, US Army and Navy clothing, and their attention to detail is absolutely perfect, and, and they're very, very highly regarded. So this is the N1 jacket. So the background to this style of jacket uh, is that it comes from the US Navy, it replaced the, the pea coat, the sort of double breasted uh, jacket, um, in about 1943. Um, and this was actually paired with uh, some other outfits to keep people on, uh, on board of ship, on the, uh, on the deck warm. So this was paired with a sort of bib and brace uh, trouser set and what they called a, a sort of helmet, which is sort of a peaked uh, hat, almost like a flying cap, I think. So it was part of the uniform, it was there to keep the staff warm on the uh, on on the deck when they're exposed to freezing temperature, and behind that there is the the choice of materials. So, by modern standards, probably sort of quite basic materials, but the the jungle cloth uh, sleeves, super super hard wearing, um, windproof uh, cotton, very tight weave, um, also known as uh, a Bedford cord, due to the sort of the uh, lateral pattern on it. Uh, Bedford being sort of named after the the uh, UK city, um, so this was you know, a very very functional piece of uh, clothing, and it was superseded in the 1960s. So it had sort of a good 25 year run, um, and then it sort of was adopted into uh, civilian style. So obviously there was a huge number of these which went into the army surplus stores and they were picked up by motorcyclists and featured in films and and really that that sort of seeded the, the popularity of the the N1 jacket. Um, the sailors I believe sometimes would treat these with oils and waxes to make them truly waterproof. Um, certainly not going to do that. Um, you know I think this is being a tight weave cotton, uh, relatively water resistant but if you're looking for a rainy day jacket um, this probably isn't it, but it is super, super warm for the winter. So in terms of the features on this jacket, which really, really help it out uh, for the, the winter months, you obviously got the storm flap at the front here, buttoned up to, to stop the, the, uh, the wind blowing through. On the bottom of the jacket, you've got uh, a nice sort of cinched waist detail. Uh, with with brass details here and also on the on the tie string or the, the pull string here the uh, the I think they're called anglets aren't they uh, like what you get on the end of shoelaces but truly uh, bomb proof sort of aluminium or steel tube anglets on there really really nice um, the cuffs are woolen and are super super deep uh, really really nice uh, windproof detailing on the wrist there. Of course, the lining of this coat is uh, alpaca and wool blend. Really, really nice, super warm. And this is actually a, a double-faced uh, fabric, so it's it's equally textured, and it's got its sort of pile, if you'd call it that, on the inside as well. So it's it's almost like it's it's a stuffed jacket but it's actually this material which is sort of double sided and finally at the throat there you've obviously got the uh, the alpaca collar which you can turn up and you've got a little throat uh, button there which will help you um, obviously keep the wind out. So in terms of sizing um, buying this online which I did Obviously always a little bit of a challenge to get the size absolutely right. Now I bought this off Denimio, uh, a website that I've used in the past and I've, I've featured on this channel as well. If you want to check them out there's a little link below and some guidance to get you 10% uh, off your first purchase so please do check them out. Um, but I chose Denimio because pretty much they were the best price uh, anywhere in the world that I could find for this jacket. 
and obviously they've got sizing charts but what I found was that the sizing charts on Denimia which they measure up themselves varied a little bit from the official Buzz Rickson size charts and it left me with a bit of a dilemma you know it's really important to get the right size um, I was split between a medium and a large so during the web chat um, using the uh, Combat Tropical jacket here as a reference point um, we decided it should be medium and um, one of the takeaways from that uh, one of the pieces of advice they provided was that Buzz Rickson's are really consistent with their sizing so if you're medium in one jacket you're probably medium in all the jackets so that was really useful to find out so in terms of measurements uh, this comes in at a 44 chest obviously it's it's slightly lined so you know that that is absolutely a nice snug warm fit for me um, a little bit of layering but not sort of not too much underneath that um, on the shoulders it's 18 inches the sleeve is 25 the overall length is 27 and the opening is 21 so I think probably the best thing to do is come in and have a look at a few of the details here just coming in for a few close-ups now obviously the first thing you see is a bit more detail on that fantastic uh, tight weave cotton jungle cloth Bedford cord also known as a uh, gross grain I think it is um, but yeah so that lateral pattern really tight weave and I'm told absolutely bomb proof a jacket which will last for almost ever um, obviously you've got the hang tags uh, in here you've got a little bit of literature including care instructions and specifications um, unfortunately the majority of it is in Japanese so um, not hugely useful to me uh, you've got the storm flap with the uh, period uh, accurate uh, green urea buttons you've got a high quality uh, American made Conmar zip again matching the uh, the period of the time on the inside of course you've got the fantastic uh, alpaca double-sided uh, wool alpaca blend uh, fleece material almost the stitching throughout this is, is absolutely perfect. Lots of reinforcing stitching. At the bottom here, you've got the, the pull cord with nice um, blacked brass hard hardware. Um, super strong anglets, as I mentioned earlier on. One thing that's really interesting is on the sleeves here, you've got some nice uh, vents to sort of offer you a little bit of uh, sort of protection from overheating on the inside. But one interesting thing is on the inside of the coat, those vents don't come all the way through, uh, so you're not going to get any ingress of water. Just a little bit of venting in the in the armpit there, and a really interesting sort of constructional stitch, a little dart there, which just pins that construction together on the sleeve, which I just thought was really interesting detail there. Obviously, on the cuffs, you've got those super deep. Uh, woolen uh, wrists just keep the wind out of the sleeve likewise on the collar you've got the nice alpaca lined collar again really nice constructional detail there there's a darts up and down the zigzags up and down uh, undoubtedly I think that just pins the uh, the liner into place nice detail there got a, a throat button which cinches back on the edge there on the inside you've got a simple uh, designation of the jacket and size um, unlike the uh, combat tropical which had a nice little uh, plate on the inside talking about care instructions uh, this is all you get on the inside there get a nice hanger which pins through the back on the inside of the pockets again simple pockets you've got the Buzz Rickson's care label there talking about the, uh, the construction really it's looking like it's uh, a dry clean only a few shots just showing this uh, jacket on as you see I'm wearing this with a t-shirt it is super super warm really nicely lined with that alpaca wool mix 
and to be honest I, I don't see in the UK winter necessarily um, layering this too much um, this is a nice snug fit in the medium size and to be honest I, I don't think you could fit much under this maybe a shirt maybe a hoodie but to be honest I think this is going to be plenty warm enough okay well that pretty much brings us to the end of the review as I say I picked this up from Denimio if you want to shop there as well there's a link below which might help you out and save some money on your first purchase um, in terms of the choice of N1 jackets out there there are a number of different uh, faithful reproductions as I say Buzz Rickson are always up there uh, in the lead for a faithful reproduction this is actually based on a 1947 model so between its introduction in 1943 it went through several uh, basic changes and this is a, a very faithful reproduction of the 1947 model lots of other brands do this type of jacket a number of them have uh, have evolved the design a little bit um, and to be honest there's a few things on this jacket which are maybe missing for our, our modern audience um, one being that there's no inside pockets which you know for your wallet for your phone if you don't have the rest of the uh, the deck outfit as a sailor you know you kind of need somewhere to put some of your stuff so this is a, a little bit of a shortcoming and that's probably the only shortcoming I see on this jacket is the the lack of storage um, there are models in particular the the um, Ironheart uh, it's almost N1 tribute which has got sort of poppered uh, slash pockets on the front um, a inside pocket little bits have moved on um, greater variety of materials but I think this is a really nice representation of this model of jacket really nice fit and finish and I'm really happy with it okay well at some point in the future I'm sure I'll do an update of this just give you some feedback on how it's fared through its first winter or first year um, if you haven't seen my channel before please check it out lots of uh, Japanese denim featured quality boots bit of everyday carry fountain pens pen knives that sort of thing if you've had this jacket before please let me know your experiences in the comments below if you thought this video was useful please give it a thumbs up of course, I'd love it if you subscribed. And that's about it. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.